We interrupt the waves music to bring you an interview from Contamination, St. Louis's own sci-fi horror and pop culture convention. Hey, this is RK9. I'm here at Contamination in Fenton. It's going on all weekend, and I'm joined here by Ann Lockhart, who was Lieutenant Sheba in Battlestar Galactica. Thank you so much for taking your time and doing this interview with me. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. That's good. So I've done a little bit of research about you, and I found that a lot of your family members were both into screen acting and stage acting. So because of this, and because you are the daughter of June Lockhart, did you ever feel pressured to become an actress or anything of the sort? Not at all. I think it was genetically programmed. <laughs> I, I sort of couldn't help it. I knew it was what I wanted to do when I was four years old. Yes, I actually found out you were nominated for an Academy Award because of the short T is for Tumbleweed. How did you feel about having that opportunity when you were so young? It was the film that was nominated for Best Short Subject, not me. <laughs> not me. Well, I still think it probably was mostly because of you because you did such a good job on it. Well, it was me chasing a tumbleweed through the New Mexico desert. But it was the work of the producer and the director, Lou Stuman, and Haskell Wexler was our cinematographer. I mean, it was, you know, pretty magical little event for a kid. That's awesome. Like your family, you did a lot of television acting, film acting, and even voice acting. Did you ever feel like one of those is easier in your mind, or one was harder, or you had to, like, focus to make it happen? No, they're all the same. I mean, it's just all part of doing what you do, you know? There are different techniques that you use on a stage. I just closed a show, a play in Louisiana, and there are different techniques that you use on a stage than you would use, obviously, vocally. If you've got a mic right in front of your nose, you don't speak the way you're speaking in a house of 1,200 people. But it's all the same to me. I love all of it, and I'm lucky to be able to do it. And I will tell you one other little thing, voice work that I do. You can hear me on... On every episode of Chicago Fire, I am the voice of the dispatcher. It's my voice saying, Truck 81, Ambulance 61, Bridge Collapse, 429 Main Street. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. I love Chicago Fire. How did I not know that? Thank you for sharing that little information with me. And I also found that you are an expert horsewoman. What made you so interested in horses? Like, was it something to like just pass the time or was it something your family got you into? I actually, it was my own, my mom. I was, I begged her for a horse when I was a kid, but she never gave me one. So I wait, and it wasn't until I was really out of, you know, the house and out of high school. And I got serious and took some lessons and started competing and um, have been doing it you know, ever since. So, And I, I usually do it. I'm, I'm particularly involved. I'm on the board of the Roundup for Autism, which is in Fort Worth, Texas every year. And it's a celebrity rodeo that raises money for the autism treatment centers of Texas. That is so awesome. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. What made you get so involved in that? Was there like somebody in your life that made you want to like get involved? Or was it just something you found? You're like, hmm, this would be an awesome way to use my time. The founder of the Roundup for Autism is my friend Bobby Norris. And he has an autistic daughter and this was just like a perfect marriage for me of something I love to do and a cause that I really cared about so being horseback and raising money for autistic folks is a perfect marriage that is so amazing and I'm pretty sure everybody who is involved in that is so thankful for your support well I like to think so <laughs> thank you so much for spending your time and taking time away from your busy schedule to like sit down and interview with me it was wonderful to talk to you and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day I will. I'm thoroughly enjoying contamination. If you are into Chicago Fire or Battlestar Galactica or Teas for Tumbleweed, come here and check out Ann Lockhart here at Contamination in Fenton. For more information about contamination, check out their Facebook at facebook.com slash contamination STL. And for more interviews from the con, check out our Facebook at facebook.com slash the wave STL. Stay tuned to 89.5 The Wave for more from contamination. Thank <laughs> you.